In this video, I will show you how to create a daily motion video account. In the same browser that you have your SEO Gmail account open, go ahead and open up a new tab and type in dailymotion.com. This is just a video sharing site similar to YouTube. Um, you know, anybody can upload videos and you can watch, create playlists, all of that good stuff. So, for the first time, we're going to click Create Account. And here, we're going to go back to our account spreadsheet and we're going to copy and paste that Gmail account um, email address that we have already created and we're going to paste that in here and then go ahead and type in your password confirm the password and then go ahead and put in the same birthday that you already have in the account spreadsheet as well. Um, so if you need to refer back to that, go ahead. And then go ahead and click Create. And here it says, Welcome to Daily Motion. This is what your welcome page will look like. It says we assigned you this username as a login, but you can change it for something more friendly. If you want to go ahead and do that, you can. You can only do this once. So I would recommend um, either using the name on the account or, you know, your business name would be perfectly fine as well. So you can go ahead and change that if you would like. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead and click this drop down. And here you can see several different, um, you know, if you want a playlist or who's following you, all of your videos. Um, you can also go to settings here and edit your profile. So here you can put in the description if you would like from your company information spreadsheet if you scroll down a bit here. Um, I'm not sure if there's a character limit so you can pick whichever of the two descriptions that you like here. Um, here's a 2000 character limit so the 400 one will be fine. Um, so you can go ahead and paste that into there. You can choose an avatar if you would like. This is just a fancy name for a profile image. Personal information. Here's where you can put in the first name, last name, what, in, what language you speak. The birthday should already be in here. Phone number, address. Um, all of this is kind of optional. Um, again, like I said, the Gmail account that I set up is under a fake name, so if you only want to put in your first name, you can. Um, last name, you can make it private if you don't want to expose that. Um, phone number you can put in if you would like, but as you can see here, this is kept private. So is the address. The city would not be a bad idea if you want to go ahead and put the city that your business is located in. Um, Postal zip code is kept private as well. So um, then once you have all of that information in here, just go ahead and click Save. Um, you can set up your notification settings here. Social, if you have, if you want to link things to your Twitter and Facebook, you can as well. Um, Facebook video tab, um, extras. So. Um, the main two things that I wanted to point out were the profile, avatar, and I suppose personal information as well. So that's just a couple ways that you can help flesh out the account profile, make it seem like this is a real person. Um, you know, you're going to want to have a real face to your company on as many of these accounts as possible. So um, that's just one thing to keep in mind here. So I will go ahead and click on, let's go back to overview here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL here and then go back to my account spreadsheet and paste that into the daily motion column there. And just like in all the other accounts that we'll set up, include the date of setup, verified, owning profile, and the other information as well.